Hi, I'm Peter Horton with Impinge, and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on the Speedway Revolution RFID reader using the web management interface. Now there's actually a couple different ways you can upgrade the firmware on the reader. You can use the web UI. You can also upgrade the firmware using a USB stick directly on the reader. And you can also upgrade that firmware using the R shell command line interface. But for today's demonstration, we're going to go ahead and use the web management interface. Now there's a couple of things you're going to want to make sure are in place before you get started. First, you're going to want to make sure that you've got a secure power connection directly to the reader. You're also going to want to make sure that you're connected via the Ethernet port directly to your PC or to your network so that you can communicate with the reader. And then you're also going to want to make sure that you have downloaded the latest firmware file from the Impinge support portal. And lastly, you're going to need to know the DNS host name of the reader so that you can connect to it via the web management interface. The DNS host name for all Speedway Revolution readers is going to be Speedway R dash then the last three octets of the MAC address. In the case of this reader, we'd be looking at Speedway R dash 10 dash 2D dash 9B. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, now that I've got my web browser open, let's go ahead and connect to that web management interface. You're going to get prompted for your username and password. The default username for all Speedway Revolution readers is going to be root, and the default password is going to be impinge, both in all lowercase. It's important to know that you can change these settings using the R shell command line interface, and we highly recommend that you do that. Alright, now we are in the web management interface. If you take a look at the detailed information next to software version, you'll notice that this reader is running 4.6 and now we're going to want to upgrade that to version 4.8. In order to do that, we're going to go over here to the reader upgrade section. We're going to click on browse. And again, you're going to want to download that latest firmware file from the Impinge support portal, which I've done here already on my desktop. We're going to go ahead and we're going to open up that file. And then we're going to go ahead and click upgrade. It's going to take a couple of minutes for the file to load to the reader and upgrade the firmware version. Once that's complete, you're going to need to reboot the reader. The easiest way to do that is directly in the web management interface. Now that the file's been uploaded, you can see that it says waiting for manual reboot. And again, the easiest way to do that is to do it directly in the uh, web interface. So we'll go ahead and we'll click reboot. Continue with the reboot, yes. And as you see, it'll take about a minute for the reader to reboot. And once it reboots itself, the reader will now be on version 4.8 for the Octane firmware. The reader is about to reboot. The screen is refreshed. Now if you take a look at the detailed information section, you can see next to software version that we are now running Octane 4.8. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. For more information on Impinge products and Speedway tech tips, please visit the Impinge website at www.impinge.com support.